Now that we've explored what PHP is, and we've taken a look at the history of PHP, let's look at why we would want to use PHP. And what I mean here is why PHP instead of other web technologies? There are many reasons to use PHP, and the first is obviously that you've discovered the limits of HTML and need something more. But PHP is also open source and free software. Open source means that the source code is available for everyone to study, to use, or to modify. And if another developer besides Zend decides that they want to improve the way PHP works, they can. Zend is doing a great job, though. And it's free software, which means that it's free to download and it's free to use. And I'm sure I don't have to tell you why free is a good feature. PHP is also cross-platform to develop, to deploy, and to use. When we say cross-platform here, what we mean is that we can put PHP on a Windows server, on a Mac server, or on a Linux server with no problem. And we can deploy it to the user's browser, regardless of whether they're using Mac, Windows, or Linux. So by learning this one language, we're not tying ourselves to a specific kind of hardware or operating system. PHP is also powerful, robust, and scalable. Now, this quality may not affect you so much when you're developing, but when you finally deploy your website, you're going to want to know that it's going to be able to handle the amount of traffic that it gets, that it's not going to fail on you, and that it's going to be able to grow with you as your traffic grows. I think the important point here is that just because it's open source and free doesn't mean that it's not as powerful and stable as technologies that you pay for. And PHP is web development specific. What I mean by that is that it was written from the very beginning with web development in mind. If you'll remember, version 1 was written to help someone maintain their personal website. And so unlike C, Java, Perl, or VBScript, it's going to be perfectly suited to our needs, and the functions in PHP are going to be designed for web usage. And it means that we aren't going to have to learn a much larger, more comprehensive language that's full of lots of features that we won't need for the web. PHP can also be object-oriented especially starting with version 5. Object-oriented programming won't come up while we're learning the essentials, but it's nice to know that the language you're about to dedicate yourself to learning has some advanced features that you can take advantage of as your skills progress. And PHP has great documentation in many different languages. If you go to www.php.net, that's the main web page for PHP, and you go to docs.php, you'll see some of this documentation. Let's take a look now. So this is the homepage for the documentation on the php.net website. And you'll see here we have a list of all the different languages that the documentation is available in. I'm going to go ahead and click English. And you'll see that we have a full manual on PHP. As well, we have a search bar here where we can actually search for functions that we're going to use. And that's going to be extremely helpful for us. Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek at one of the first ones we're going to learn, which is going to be Echo. So if I search for Echo there... You'll see that it pops up, and it's going to give me a definition of Echo. It's going to tell me which versions of PHP it's valid for. It's going to give me information about how to use it. It's then going to go ahead and give me some examples of best practices. And then if you come down here, you'll see there's user-contributed notes. And this is a great resource where the developer community can actually input feedback, helpful hints, tips, tricks, even bits of code that they've written that might help you out. So you're definitely going to want to become familiar with this resource and use it. And that brings us to the last reason why PHP is a great language to learn, which is that it has a large active developer community. Over 20 million websites use PHP. It's the most popular module for the web server Apache. And it's the fourth most popular programming language of all, behind Java, C, and C++, which are compiled languages, but ahead of Perl, Python, C Sharp, and JavaScript. And that large active developer community has also already created some great examples of PHP applications that you may have already come across, like WordPress, Joomla, Mambo, PHP BB, or MediaWiki. These are all free tools that you can download that can help you to create websites like blogs or bulletin boards. By learning PHP, you're going to be able to work with those tools more efficiently and even to customize them for your specific needs. Now that we've looked at what PHP is, we've looked at the history of PHP, and now we understand why we want to choose PHP over other web technologies. Let's get PHP installed on our machine so we can start developing with this powerful software.